Hello everyone, welcome in 11 CHE. Today we are going to talk about chemical reaction engineering. This is our lecture number one. And in this video, we are going to cover what is chemical reaction engineering, why we study this, means why chemical engineers study chemical reaction engineering, who are chemical engineers, and our fourth topic will be chemical reactors, and then we will discuss about how separation units are depend upon chemical reactors okay so as you can see here a flow diagram okay and we will discuss this very briefly and we will also see why chemical reaction engineering makes us different from other engineering discipline right so the first is what is chemical reaction engineering or cre right so we can simply say that uh, if we talk about our first here is the first question which is what is chemical reaction engineering so we can say that it is the study about chemical kinetics and design of reactors right okay so cre is you can say the study of chemical kinetics and reactor design right so we can we can define or we can divide chemical reaction engineering two parts the first one is chemical kinetics and the second one is design of reactors okay and in chemical kinetics we study about the speed of reaction right we will study here about the kinetics about the speed of reaction rate of reaction order molecularity then we will also study here the series reaction parallel reaction okay and in our design of reactors we derive the performance equation of the reactors then we study the combination of the reactors then we select the best reactor for our process so this comes under the design of reactors and if we talk about the speed then it comes under the chemical kinetics okay this is the you can say a brief introduction of chemical reaction engineering right so and the, this is the just a introductory video and in our upcoming videos we are going to discuss on these topics very briefly now why we study the second thing is why we study this you know you know in a chemical reaction engineering or a, a chemical engineer what a chemical engineer do a chemical engineer if you will see this block diagram so you can simply understand that the, there is a raw material which enters in this unit then it goes to separation process right so this separation process is unit process we can simply say this is a unit not a process unit operation okay this is a unit operations right it may be a mechanical operation it may be a mechanical operation or we can say chemical operation chemical operation means mass transfer right then this separation process goes into chemical reactors right and a chemical engineer okay then after a chemical reactor it goes to separation unit and after that we we find that the product and byproduct right so this is our desired one mainly this is our desired one right so what a chemical engineers do the chemical engineers which who design who design the chemical reactors not completely design he just he just design the size of the reactor type of the reactor and we can say about the temperature and pressure condition okay so what the temperature and pressure condition temperature and pressure condition within the reactor so this is the this is what a chemical engineer do uh, with the with the knowledge of we can say the cre right uh, size of the reactor now you will see one thing that is there is a chemical reactor okay and you know 
this chemical reactor is very important for us why because you will see the before chemical reactor and after chemical reactor there is a separation unit right this is separation unit and this is separation unit so separation unit hold 50 to 75 percent of the total manufacturing cost right so it depends the separation process depends upon the performance of chemical reactors if our chemical reactors are best and it has a better conversion so the unit so the separation cost okay separation process cost will be less and our entire process will be most efficient right so it also depends upon the efficiency or we can say the performance of chemical reactors that's why this subject makes prominent for a chemical engineer to study right so i think now you have cleared that why we study chemical reaction engineering now who are chemical engineers so chemical engineers are those who convert raw material into valuable one so we can say about the third what the raw material suppose there is a raw material what a chemical engineer do they convert raw materials into valuable ones right or we can say the raw materials or chemicals into valuable chemicals right so whatever the, our uh, raw materials and what we are getting in a final product we can say the chemical engineer do that or if we talk about in with respect to chemical reaction engineering so we can say that we study or we design a chemical reactor with some portions not an entire we do not design entire chemical reactor we just design the size of the reactor type of the reactor and the temperature and pressure condition within the reactor this work a chemical engineer do and after that it also if we do that so that's why the whole process becomes more efficient right so okay so i think you have also got the answer of the third one that is a who are chemical engineers now the fourth one is that is most important and this is chemical reactors what are chemical reactors so i think this is not a tough questions and you can just simply see that this is our chemical reactor right and here is a separation process which we are using like a, a suppose mechanical operation which we are using here and we are reducing the size of the coarse particles right and after that it goes into chemical reactors what happens there we can say here uh, one material is converting into another one or we can say the main hurt of the process is happening there right the one uh, we can say the raw material or intermediate raw material or intermediate product is becoming into the product here we are getting we are getting our pre-final product from here so this is our main or we can say the heart of a chemical process engineering or chemical industry right and after that how separation units are depend upon chemical reactor so as i told you earlier and i am also telling you again about my fifth point that is how separation units are depend upon the chemical reactor so as i told you that if our performance if performance of the reactor is best or performance of the reactor of the reactor is high then the separation cost will be low so we can just simply see we can just simply see here if our reactor is or if our reactor is best or our, if our reactors performance is good so we can simply say that the separation cost will be low and as i just told you that the separation cost of as i just told you earlier separation separation cost within the industry or chemical process in the industry it holds uh, approx we can say 50 to 75 percent okay so as i just told you earlier 50 to 75 percent of total capital cost this holds separation unit only right so 
just suppose that if our performance of reactor if the performance of the reactor is best so this cost will definitely decrease or if this cost will definitely decrease then what will happen our entire process will be entire the process cost will be decreased and we can say that our performance will be or our efficiency of the process will be increased and uh, what a chemical engineer do the chemical engineers convert our raw materials chiefly raw material into valuable product okay this works a chemical engineer do we do not have to go into the that's uh, scientific definition that a chemical engineering is a branch of science that we all know but the fundamental or the fundamental definition which we should have to know that about that what a chemical engineer do and what is chemical reaction engineering why we study this and what are chemical reactors and how separation units are depends upon the chemical reactors so i hope you have understood this via this video so if you like that video so you can subscribe our youtube channel and you can share it with your friends and if you have any difficulty in chemical reaction engineering so you can comments below i'll definitely make the separate video for that thank you for watching